hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Eno in today's video we'll look at how we can install Linux Mint on VirtualBox this is the new version of uh, Linux Mint version 22 called name Wilma so I have a uh, VirtualBox open and before we begin the installation we need to get the ISO image so we need to download it so just type in Linux Mint download and then we'll go to linuxmint.com and the version you're looking for is Linux Mint 22. Wilma, this is the, the newest version. And we have different editions. We have Cinnamon, uh, XFCE edition, and Mate edition. So depending on which edition you prefer, you, you need to download that. Um, I'm going with the Cinnamon edition because it's got more features. This edition, Cinnamon, I already have it downloaded. To download it, you just click on download here then you'll have to go to one of the mirrors here whichever one that is closer to you just click on the one of the mirrors and the download should begin so let me show you the file size it's about almost three gbs now that we have the file once you have the file or the iso image downloaded you can begin the installation so you open your virtual box and then go to click on new and here you just need to give your VM the VM a name. I'll call mine Linux. I'll call it Linux Mint 22. Uh, this is the default installation location, so I'm not going to change that. I'm going to select the ISO image later. The type is Linux. Uh, I'm going. I'll go with the 64-bit Ubuntu here. I'll click next. Uh, I'll go with the default memory size. I increase this to two for CPUs. I'll click next. And let me increase this to 30 for the disk size. I click next and I'll click finish. And this is the virtual machine. Let me right click it and go to settings. Under general and advanced, we want to enable a shared clipboard in uh, both direction as well as drag and drop. And the system here, I'm not using a floppy, so I'm going to move this down and uncheck it. Uh, let's see what else here. Processor, we already checked this to two. Acceleration, default. Display, you can increase this. Uh, let's see. Under storage here, you need to attach the ISO image. Right now it says empty, so click on this and then click on this here and uh, choose a disk file. So go to wherever you downloaded your ISO image. I believe mine is. In here so this is it just select it and click open and now we have it attached uh, for network I normally change mine to bridge because I like to be able to access the virtual machine from my other devices on the network so click OK I believe that's all for the settings now that I have the settings done I can click on start to start the virtual machine And it's saying start Linux Mint. It should auto automatically start or boot in a few seconds. So I'll just wait for it. So once this is finished, we'll get an installation disk that we can click on to begin the installation. So it's done booting up and there it is. That's the installation disk it says install Linux Mint. So double click on this to begin the installation. So right now it's running in the background. We'll, we'll have to wait. I'm going to pause the video here and come back once we have to input something. So right here we are being asked to select our language. I'm going with English. I'm going to click continue. So for the keyboard layout, I'm going with the English as well. US. Continue. I'm going to select install multimedia codex. Continue. Here we are being asked if we want to erase the disk. Well, that's what we want. So I'll click install now. I'll click uh, continue. Uh, the region, I'm going to go with the default selected region here. I'll click continue. Here we have to put in a name. So put in a name. Pick a username and the computer's name. Uh, I'll call it 
Linux Mint 22. Uh, you have to pick your password here. And then I'm gonna go with the option to require my password to log in. I'll click continue. Okay, at this point, it's copying files and doing the installation. I'm gonna pause the video because this could take a while. I'll come back when we have to input something. So at this point, the installation is done. All we need to do is restart. So I'll click on restart now. And I'll come back once the reboot is completed. So now we are at the login screen. We just need to put in our password. Just gonna X this out. Uh, one of the things you can check is the version. You can just verify that you have the right version. Let's increase the font size here. Um, let's custom the font. I'm gonna increase this to 17, select. Uh, we can check the version by running the command card. It's the OS release. And the version is 22 Wilma. You can also verify that you have a valid IP. You can do IP address. And I see that I have a valid IP. Uh, other things you can do is you can update your system packages you can do sudo up update and a password and that should update the packages for you if you wanted to upgrade you need to run the command sudo up upgrade and that could take a minute so I'm not going to run that command you can also go to the menu here and uh, under administration you can check for under driver manager, you can see if you need if there's any drivers that are needed to be installed. So if this runs the check and finds any drivers that need to be installed, you can install those. No drivers were found. You can X out, go back to the menu again. Under administration, software manager. Here you can install software that you want. And you can also customize your software manager as far as uh, automatic as far as automatic updates are concerned. You just have to go into your uh, preferences and uh, make whatever changes you need to make. So once it's done updating the list, you should see the list of available software that you can install. So there is a list. As you can see, there's quite a few tools that are available and you can just install them from here. So that's all for this video. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks. Bye.